All right, all right. Shalom. Uh, got the brother Loya from uh, Lake Charles, Louisiana with me. Uh, my lesson I did earlier this week, you know, kind of inspired the brother that he, he talked to me about it and kind of inspired me. So we was just talking and through the spirit, we just decided, you know, to go off the spirit and bring out what we can bring out. And Lord willing, it's edifying, you know, before we get officially started, we want to give our praises to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rakar Kadash, Barak Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, double honors to the apostles and elders of Grim, uh, GMS who have taught us this truth and endured this truth and still enduring this truth and giving diligence and looking forward to getting out of here, you know, and that's where we get our spirit from, looking forward to get out of here. You know, some camps out there, they just, they teaching to have fun. They, they've they been an Israelite to have fun, which is we supposed to be teaching the gospel, getting out of here, man. You know, uh, reeling in the elect. We supposed to be fishers of men. You know, all they doing is 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 fishing for men and then throwing them back in the water. Oh, that fish is too small. That one is too small. You know, it don't matter the size of the fish, man. It's about what the Lord allow you to reel in, and truth and sincerity, of course. You know, so, um, you know, uh, blessings to the elect of Yashala, which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and blessing to you, I came out there doing this truth and sincerity, looking forward to getting out of Babylon. All right, um, Salakia, if the lesson is kind of chaotic, so to speak, you know, it's kind of impromptu on both ends, you know, I was talking to the brother, he like, man, what's up, man, you trying to record, I can start screen recording now, you know, so... <laughs> We kind of, we got a few scriptures together, but, you know, however the Lord allowed to come out, is going to come out. Uh, lesson shouldn't be too long, because we're going to try to just get into the points. And uh, I'm going to try to find this article that I had. If not, I can pull it up on my phone and just read from it, but it's a pretty good article. If not, I'll put it in a, I'll put it in a description box so you I can, can link on to it. All right, so uh, we're going to start out with this. This is Ezekiel 31 and 1. It says, and it and it came to pass in the 11th year, in the third month, in the first day of the month, that the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and to his multitude, whom art thou like in thy greatness? Behold, the Assyrian was a cedar in Lebanon with fair branches and with a shadowing shroud and of high stature. And his top was among the thick bows. The waters made him great. The deep set him up on high with his river, with her rivers running round about his plants and set out her little rivers unto all the trees of the field. Therefore, his height. All right. So it's referring to man as a tree. Therefore, his height was exalted above all the trees of the field. And his bows were multiplied, and his branches became long because of the multitude of waters when he shot forth. All the fowls of heaven made their nests in his bows, and under his branches did all the beasts of the field bring forth their young, and under his shadow dwelt all great nations. Okay, so basically it's referring to a man as a tree. All right, because the lesson that I did earlier this week was the importance of branches to a tree, right? Because the scriptures call Yahweh Shai the branch, okay? When you read in Isaiah the 11th chapter, all right? It calls him the branch and basically explains how perfect he was going to be and how he was, all right? And due to the fact that a branch is connected to a tree, all right? Which a tree is connected to roots and things of that nature. But uh, this article that I had stumbled across, it... It showed the importance of branches. Now, the importance of a branch is to allow the leaves to extend and receive sunlight. All right. Also, in order to do the process of photosynthesis, which allows the leaves to feed the branches and feed the tree, basically. Okay. So with Yahweh Shai being that branch and us needing... All right, our spiritual food to feed our spirit. Okay, he's our mediator towards Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. All right, in the sense of us. So, hey, bro, we gotta get that Second Corinthians right quick. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna establish, establish the sit down. 
I didn't want to bring it out just now, but you know, through the spirit, it's kind of like bring it out that way. The brothers kind of know exactly what we're going into. I'm gonna, uh, turn minds up. Mm-hmm. Alright, this is uh Second Corinthians five and uh eighteen. Yeah. Alright, well I'm gonna start at seventeen, huh? Right? Go ahead, go ahead. It says uh, therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Mm -hmm. All things are of the most high who have reconciled us in by your house Jahmashiach and had Given to us the reconciliation. <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta look at some words right quick. So we're gonna look into that word reconcile. All right. Oh, I might have clicked the wrong one. Let's see. Oh no no no. So reconcile. All right. Um, it's not bringing up my sound right now. I probably gotta download a a plugin, more up to date plugin. But uh, it looks like the Greek, uh, you got the Greek 2644, it looked like katalasso, which is to change, exchange as coins for others or equivalent value, to reconcile uh, <laughs> those who are at variance, return to favor with, be reconciled to one, to receive one into favor, right? So because what? The Most High did what? He gave us the bill of divorce. He said, I don't want to deal with y'all no more. Y'all keep dealing with these other gods and y'all not listening to me. I don't want to deal with y'all no more. Here's the bill of divorce, right? So, but as the scripture that says, the brother read, what did it say? It said, uh, we go ahead and read the 18 again, huh? It says, uh, all things are most high. Yeah, hey, hey even, like even right there, bro. Self, all things are the most high. Evil done in the city, the Lord did it. Good done in the city, the Lord did it. You going through things, the Lord did it. You getting blessed, the Lord did it. All things are the... See, a lot of people don't understand that the Lord is balanced. So they say, like like Polite said, why would, why would a God put his own people into slavery? The same reason why you whoop your children ass if they don't listen to you, man. Because I'll tell you one thing, now that I know why all of the shit that happened to us in history... All right. And, and the fact that we lost our heritage and now the Lord allow us to get it back. I know what not to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And only a true man can accept that. Honestly, only a true man can accept that. It, it's plain as day. We we, we are, are. Are you basically saying you're not the Lord's child? You know what I'm saying? If you feel a, if you have a problem with that, you're saying you're not the Lord's child because as a go ahead, bro. I was just gonna make a quick point on actuality. According to the scriptures, two thirds of fathers, you know, for the hey. simple fact that they can't accept. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we still uh, uh held, held captives right now. Kind. We still under uh basically paying uh uh you know uh bills. You know what I'm saying? And basically being uh what's the word on you? Basically want to be uh you know what I'm saying still under the curse. Yeah. Know? And these Content. things happen because we 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 didn't listen in the first place. Yep. Yeah. They. Yeah. Yeah. Some people are content with being in America. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not like and I'm not the only one that that think like that or feel like that only the true man of the Lord is looking that's why when I do my introductions and my outros I say blessings to the elect of Yasha Allah and salutations blessing to Akim out there teaching truth and sincerity looking forward to getting out of here because if you're not looking forward to getting out of here what are you in the truth for what are you what are, what you, you, yeah, you wasting your time because that's the reward is salvation. Like <laughs> the reward of this job is salvation, man. Just like at your job, the reward is building a 401k. All right. Getting uh, overtime if you're getting it, you know what I'm saying? And getting that check at the end of the week or the end of two weeks, man. That's your reward. The reward of this is salvation and getting in, in, in the most high good graces. So he don't bust your ass when he bring judgment on this place, man. All right. You got people partying as an Israelite thinking that this is a, 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 a one of Esau's denominations or something. This ain't Christianity. This ain't baptism. This ain't Jehovah wickedness. This ain't no uh, Allah Akbar. None of that shit, man. This is the real deal, man. <laughs> you 
Man. Go ahead, huh? If you still got 18. Got, oh, you uh, got a preset? Yeah, yeah. Uh, reconciled us to himself by the Mashiach and have given to us the ministry of the reconciliation. So, <laughs> okay. The Lord came on the scene and he ministered reconciling us to the most high which is to bring back in the favor of so he brought us back in the favor of the most high yahweh his father by shedding his blood man and when he left he gave us that ministry of reconciliation so the same thing he did we have to do him as that branch allowing the food to feed the tree we are now part of that tree or of a tree, all right? And we are, are we are a branch. We are, we're not the branch. Let me, you know, let me read it. We're not the branch, but we are a branch because it's not just one branch on a tree. There's many right. branches, you know? So we are that part. Go ahead, bro. I was like, I was going to say, oh, that goes to show you that what? Now, though, that the tree is in a state of becoming whole again. It's becoming whole again. I, uh, I, uh, I went into the, the regular uh, definition of a uh, reconciliation. It says the restoration, mm. or the re yeah, the restoration of friendly relations. It <laughs> says uh, <laughs> uh, reuniting, reunion, bring together again. Yeah. You know? So to bring back again, because what at one point in time that tree was full, but you know when you go to Ecclesiastes three, uh, time for everything. You know, so, so certain part of those leaves faded away, you know, mm. branches broke off, you know, and now it's being brought to, uh, you know, its, it's natural state. Kind. Oh, I got to get that, this. That, that, that has to happen through, through your house shot. Yeah, it has to, it, it, it has to happen, you know, but uh, see, it's not like. It's not like we have ultimate judgment. Ah, where is this precept at? I, I know it's in 15, 16, and 17. I know it is. Uh, but um, where, you know, if Yahweh Shai came down here and he was the, the mediator between us and the Most High, he gave us his job. In order to get to the Most High, you have to get to Yahweh Shai. So part of our job is to get the elect to Yahweh Shai so they can get to Yahweh, man, the Heavenly Father. Right? It's not saying it's not saying that we are destined for salvation or no matter what we're gonna make it, but the we are definitely a vessel, all right, that the Lord is using to bring in the elect. Is and especially as long as we do it in truth and sincerity, because uh that's a lot of people's problem is they just do it. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of people's problem is that they just do it. You can't just do this this truth, man. Okay? You have to live it. Hey, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, because you, you talked about... uh, You got that regular definition still, bro? Yeah. Go ahead. Bring it out again. It says, uh, it says the restoration of friendly relations. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's what I wanted. The restoration of friendly relations, right? Uh, so this is John... <laughs> 15, hey, the truth is beautiful, man. John the 15 and 13. 15 and 13 oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Greater yeah. love hath no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends, man. Is that not what Yahweh Shai did? Uh, That's exactly what he did. He shed his own blood. Hey, it was a situation that happened before where I jumped in front of a gun for a brother. You know, the water you how about Shimmy, I was shy to get down to where it could have got down to and not even praising myself. Like, that's just the Lord put the spirit on me to do that. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it was I didn't even know I did it until after the fact, you know. All right. But there is no greater love than that. And that's what Yahweh Shai did. He laid his life down for his friends, which his friends is the elect. It's not the whole of Israel right now. It's his elect. Like, oh, it's, it's, you can, you got to spiritually understand it. It's ultimately for all of Israel, but on his first go round, it's not for every single Israelite. It's only for the elect. So they can bring back those damaged branches, bro. <laughs> those dead branches. 
You know, the ones that you right. got to trim off and cut off from the tree, man. All right. Verse 14. Ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you, man. All right. So that's the friendship that we have. Okay. Between us and your house shot. We, and he gave us his ministry. He gave us his ministry. Hey, to, I, go ahead. Go ahead. What's up? Hey, hey bro, you have to read uh, verse, uh, verse 15. Dun, 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 dun. Verse 15, right? It's okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We got a shout out from the brother Lord. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, John 15 and 15. Henceforth, I call you not sir. Ooh, I forgot. My bad. Henceforth, I call you not <laughs> servants. For the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. Unto you. Uh, hey, John. Uh, hey, we got, got we got to read six. No, no, no. You want to keep going? We're going to do this. We're going to do this. <laughs> 16. Yeah. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. That ye should go and bring for fruit. <laughs> Trees. Tree, you, we bring forth fruit. Not all fruit growing trees, but you have fruit. That's what it's talking about, man. Spreading them branches, feeding that tree that it can spread and get that truth out there, man. All right? Uh, and, we, and we talking about what? Righteous fruit, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, well, let me finish this. Hey, I know where you're going. <laughs> and that your fruit shall remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he shall give it you, man. Period. You know, period. Go ahead, bro. You got it. Uh, I was going to uh, go into John 17 and 9. Go ahead. Real quick. Uh, it says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. But for them, thou hast given me. For they are thine. And all mine are thine. And thine are mine. And yep. I am glorified in them. Because mm -hmm. we glorify, you know what I'm saying? Y'all watching my shot through it all. It says, and now I am no more in the world. But these are in the world, and yeah. I am come, Ooh. Holy Father. <laughs> he, he, through thine own name, those whom thou hast given me, that they may be as one as we are one. Mm. That's that friendship. God. That's that friendship. That's that reconciliation, man. Bring, hey, look, I know we had our problem. We was beefing in the past, but we good now. Oh, word, hey, much love, you know? Man, and that's uh, how, that's, that's so... He said, even as we are. So, Yahweh Shai is connected in, in friendship with the elect as he is in, uh, connected in, in friendship with his father, man. And he uh, always, what did, he, what did it tell you in Peter's? He made himself of no reputation. No reputation, that's right. That's why we he's glorified through us. He's uh, glorified through us because we are tell you straight up, this is not our business. We just right. work here. <laughs> we just uh, work here. You know what I'm saying? This ain't our business. The Lord left, and he he and we inherit his business, and we work here, man. All right. Um, I got another one. I Matthew three and seven. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, "O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come?" He like, who who the fuck told y'all to stop doing what y'all man keep on at that wickedness, man. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Keep on at that because why? It's not meant for everybody. You know what I'm saying? They came down there obviously out of curiosity because they programmed their traditions of the men wasn't wasn't prospering as much as it was when the Lord came on the scene. That's why they wanted to get rid of him, man. They like he messing with our money, basically. Exactly. And but but through through the chain of events, that it was caused him to shed his blood. Because of the fact that they was hating on him. They like, we got to kill this dude. And then the Lord like, look, I know they're going to kill me, but I'm dying for y'all, man. Acts That's the right. fifth chapter, the 30th verse, man. He was that prince and savior to uh, given unto Israel for repentance. Ooh, I got people, let me, oh, let me get this eight right quick. <laughs> Ooh, and see, it's coming out, bro. It's coming out. <laughs> Matthew 3 and 8. Bring forth, therefore, fruits, fruits, fruits. Fruits, fruits, meat for repentance, man. Uh, All right? And think not to say within yourself, we have Abraham to our father. For I say unto uh, you that the Most High is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. So it don't matter what tribe you from. It don't matter that you have the nation of Israel. It don't matter 
that you even have a lick of the truth, man. It matter. It matters about what you're gonna do in the truth. What are you gonna do to further the branches, spread the branches? Because if you read the article, the article tells you that the leaves is the process of the photosynthesis to allow that tree to eat, man. And the branches is the the uh, uh, has the ability to stretch those leaves out in different directions that that tree can eat, man. It's not just eating from one side of, of the sun. You know, not necessarily one side of the sun, but just one side of the tree, basically. It's eating from all angles. You know, like I said in my previous video, the more the merrier, man. All right? Go ahead, go ahead. All right, you got it. His own self bear our sins in his in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness. Mm. By whose stripes ye were healed, for ye were as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. Mm. So <laughs> we, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all through your house shot. Come on. you can't, you can't. He, he said it himself. You can't go to the Father without me, basically. You know, roughly paraphrasing. You have to go through me. And what did he say? You got to eat, man, man, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know it, man. Let me, let me get it. Is it? I, I, I believe it's First John, the fifth chapter. Like the 20th, the 10th verse, 10th verse. I'm going to roll with the 10th. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Spirit rolling. Spirit rolling. <laughs> It says, First uh, John 5, and I'm going to start at 9. It says, If we receive the witness of men, the witness of the Most High is greater. For this is the witness of the Most High, which he hath testified of his Son. He that believeth on the Son of the Most High hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not the Most High hath made him a liar, because he believeth not on the record that the Most High gave of his Son, man. All right? So his son, like people like to say, oh, God came in the form of, you know, who the world called Jesus. No, they are just in cahoots. They are in one mind with each other, as well as the Holy Spirit. That's where people misconstrue the, the uh, I don't even call it the Holy Trinity, but that's where they can misconstrue the Trinity situation. Is they say, you have the father who became, who came as the son. You got the, no, man. They just all in the same same mindset, man. They all on one accord. That's what it is. They all on one accord. That's exactly what it is. You know what I'm saying? Why Why are they all on one accord? Ooh, if I can pull this one off, I'm going to go crazy. It might be the fifth chapter. It might be the fifth chapter. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, oh look at Satan. Look at Satan. Look at Satan. He hating. Look at my. That's why I still up. Uh. Let me see. Ephesians, the fifth chapter. Ephesians, the fifth chapter. It gotta be. It gotta be. Uh, if it ain't the fifth, then it's, it gotta be the sixth. Let me see. Next chapter. Come on, baby. Come on. See, I might have to. I might have to look it up in my sword, but I know it's. I know it's there. I know it's there. You got. If you got something, I go ahead. I'm about to uh, grab this right quick. Right, uh, I'm gonna grab a couple of, uh, Ephesians 5 and 10, huh? You better not, uh, be Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, I'm going to start at, uh, I'm going to start at 8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight. It says, uh, it says, uh, for ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord, walk ye as children of light. It says, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness. Truth, proving what is acceptable to the Lord, and have no fellowship with the un, so like you uh, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. All right, this is basically what what when uh, when Yahweh Shemayim commanded us to come into this truth and bring forth, uh, you know those those righteous fruit. This is what we're doing. You know, now we're walking uh, in, in those righteous ways. You know what I'm saying we're walking back after the fruit of Yahweh you yeah, know, those yeah. same ways. And, and how good do it feel? It feels fucking awesome. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, you know, I don't know, man. The Lord just put a spirit on me mainly this week. I've just been in high spirits, man. And, and 
just accepting the hell. But like, how long are you gonna be like, "Woo, I'm ready to get out of here," you know? And it comes from a conversation yeah. that the brother said, like, "You, you here? Where about here? <laughs> Where about now?" You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, this ain't even the worst to come. You know what I'm saying? But if you so focus on that negative energy, you 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 reap what you sow, man. So if you so focus on the negative energy, that's all you gonna fucking feel, man. Like this 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 lady at my job that I'm training, when the supervisor's around, she don't like the supervisor from whatever reason they had before. But when she's around, she just get nervous and she can't focus. She said, "I don't know what it is. I just." Right there, you fucking up. Don't worry about her. Fuck her. Do what you supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, she got her supervisor job. She here to to help you get get you more money, basically. So if you so focused on her negative attitude, that's going to distort your positive attitude, hands down. That's why the scriptures say, be not unequally yoked, man. You got to be around people. This hey hey it ties okay I found it, it wasn't the fifth chapter it was the fifth verse you know what I'm saying <laughs> but it's the fourth chapter okay it says uh endeavoring to keep uh this is Ephesians four and three endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace meaning meaning giving diligence working you know what I'm saying working towards that to keep the unity of spirit uh the unity as one okay verse four there is one body and one spirit even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. One uh, Lord. Uh, that's ahead. another thing that you, that, that, uh, that's required. You know what I'm saying? It's what? When you go into a call. You know what I'm saying? Because you, ha you have to be called into this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, you try to creep in underwears, you know what I'm saying? Try to eavesdrop, you're going you gonna to mix up the whole story. You don't know shit. <laughs> you can't yeah. just have a fruit or like an apple tree and you just have a regular J. Just go take an orange tree and just set it on the apple tree, and it's, it's, it's still it's still counted as a whole tree. No, it no, don't work like it, that. It no. don't work. It, it comes from the roots, man. It right. comes from the roots. That's what determines it. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it comes. It really, it comes from the seed. <laughs> oh, That's really what determines it. You know, it comes from that seed, and that seed branches out to roots, and and, and you know, going and forth. You know what I'm saying? Far as fruit, it comes from that seed, and this. Doctrine, uh, this truth is a seed that was implanted, man. Cause it tell you, it tell you a parable about that. Some fell by the wayside. Some Satan snatched up and they got choked unawares by the world and this and that. But some fell on good ground, baby. <laughs> some God. fell on good ground. <laughs> and that's why we should we should be thankful even more. Even know? more. Because even more. Even though you know what I'm saying we catching hell, we got to deal with this, that, the third, eight. Hey. Everybody don't get the shot that we have. Everybody, man, everybody don't get, like, like motherfuckers, we can look at motherfuckers that's in the, in the pros, pro NFL players, NBA players, like, how the fuck is they just fucking up? Yes, you're human, but you are in a sense of light where you're supposed to do better. You know what I'm saying? If any I came out there know, which I probably do, Terrence Bud Crawford is from Omaha, Nebraska. I was watching his documentary the other day. He, like, he basically was like, yeah, I mess up. I'm human. You know what I'm saying? But I got to realize this type of life that I live now, it got basically got more light on it because there's more people looking at you. If you're a nobody, you're a nobody. But if you're somebody, hey, then, then you got to, there's a certain type you got to carry yourself. And as men of the Lord, governors of the world to come, all right, we got to carry ourselves a certain type of way, man. Period. All right, let me finish this out. Ephesians 4 and 4. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one power and father of all who is above all and through all and in you all. There's one. There ain't no, oh, I got my God, my doctrine, my breakdown, my baptism, my faith, man. Hey, it's one of all of that, man. And it's all according to the business and, and the dispensation and the ministry and the reconciliation and the the uh, the pre uh, destination of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. This is his program. We ain't nothing but vessels working. We're friends, Lord willing. You know what I'm saying? Because he said, uh, you ain't serving as you friends. I've told you what, what Pop's going to do. What's all Pop's, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
He like, hey, it's like you as a big brother looking out for your your little, you know. Like I was talking to the brother earlier. I was like, dang, you just sitting on the porch. I'm waiting for my little brother. Like he's going to meet his little brother when he get off the bus or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? That's what a big brother. He's looking out for him. He's been his brother keeper. What Cain bitch ass couldn't do. <laughs> Which is. Well, um, <laughs> it wasn't. He. Yeah. 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 It wasn't. I, you're right. Uh, I mean, that's all I had. If you had anything else, you know, uh, I don't know. It, it's the points the, through the spirit. The points out there, you know, it's we gotta keep it, man. We gotta grow. I got a, I got a quick point. Go uh, ahead. Go ahead. Yes, I, uh, this is Ecclesiastes one. I'm gonna uh, start at nine. Uh, the Bible says, "Whoever finds wisdom finds time to he can if he wanted to but why if if all the spirits coming back up there and back down here every so often why not just keep the same spirits for the same you know for the same purpose basically you know what i'm saying then at the end of times when that ultimate judgment happens then you can get the the bad spirits of israel right you know what i'm saying because you had a point to prove you already wrote the movie you're not a power that you should yeah. lie. So that's what he's doing. That's what, and people can't under, even understand that, man. The Lord do what he want to do. You know, oh, David and the adultery and this and that. He should have, he got judgment for it. Yeah. Some, and that's why he said, I show mercy unto I'll show mercy and grace unto I'll show. Everybody don't have the same level of grace, man. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Everybody don't have the same level of grace. It don't make you no more, no less. If, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, but the the thing the the thing that don't make you no more, no less is the fact that you don't know how much grace you have. Me and this brother could have the same level of grace and not even know it. You know what I'm saying? Right. But that's why now that's when uh, um, seek your own salvation comes into play. It don't mean say right. fuck the camp, fuck the brothers, fuck the the body. No, it's you still got your own walk, man. You your a situation might happen to you and another brother, and it might be a different outcome. You know what yeah. I'm saying? A situation might happen to, with you and another brother, and the Lord might show more grace or more mercy on either one of y'all. But He's showing the right amount to each person to build them up, if anything. God, so God, don't. What? The, scripture, the scripture says that we we all have different methods. You know what I'm saying? And along with that, the Lord dealing with us as, as sons. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you have, say you have three, four sons, you're not going to deal with them the same way. You're he, not. You know? I try, to tell people in, I try to tell people in the world, everybody has a favorite. I don't give a fuck if you got children or not. You have a favorite. <laughs> Whether it's yeah. the oldest, the middle, or I, I'm just so happy to be my mom, my mom favorite. You know what uh, I'm saying? Right, my right. baby brother so happy to be my dad favorite. Everybody has a favorite. You... Because the Lord has a favorite, man. That's why you got a favorite, God. <laughs> you know, he got a favorite field. He got a favorite bird. He got a favorite people. He got a favorite land. He got a, he has a favorite flower. You know what I'm saying? Which is a lily. Favorite bird is a dove. Favorite people is Yashala. Favorite land is uh, uh, Jerusalem, man. What, what, like, why you going to get mad at me? Out of all, out of all the people he created on Earth, out of all the nations, eighteen different nations, he got a favorite out of those, and you bad at me because I got a favorite child, or I got a favorite pair of shoes, or a favorite hat, a favorite favorite outfit, favorite drink. You know, you get that from him. <laughs> You're That's offspring right. of him. You know, well, you didn't. It goes back to us being in, in, in that one spirit. Yeah, exactly. That one spirit. Come, people, people be making it seem like they doing that. This is my, you know what I'm saying? Like, I chose to have a, no, man, you get that. Ain't nothing you do original, my nigga. <laughs> the Lord ain't already done it. It's everything and already been done. The brother just read ain't no new, new thing under the sun. Just because it's in a different form, all right? 
doesn't mean nothing. The fact that we get water the way we get water and they got water the way they got water, either way, the fucking water still flowed to where you needed it. <laughs> you know? Ain't like you, look at this. I created this way. Nah, man. Nah, man. Ain't like that. <laughs> you know? I'm sure they had some type of Uber system back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Had some <laughs> somebody riding around on horses. Come on, man, hop on. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what you got? I got two. I got two loaves of bread. Hey, I got you. You know, I need some bread. Me and the fam about to make some sandwiches. <laughs> like, you know, if you feel me? Ain't nothing new under the sun, man. That's called extrapolating out of the scriptures, man. Hey. What what needed to be said has been said, Lord willing. Hey, look at the time. It's 441, baby. <laughs> 441, baby. Hey, man. Hey, with that, man, give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Barakatah, man. Hey, this truth is beautiful, man. Double entrance apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have diligently taught us and still enduring, man. They ain't bored. Like the, hey, hey, the brother Ariala had a beautiful video about building your mind, okay? It's, it's, if you get bored in the truth, it's because you're not, you're not using the truth to your potential. You're not trying to reach the level that, you, reach above the level you at, man, because there's nothing but learning. All you can do is learn, why not learn more? The more you learn, the more you know, the better you can, can uh, uh carry yourself, man, all right? Hey, I can, if you ain't checked that video out, check that out, man. What's up? Yeah, cause that, that, that video goes crazy. But, um, yeah, man, with that, you know, um, yeah. blessings to the elect of Yashala, which are the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. And, um, you know, a hey, blessing to you, Akim, out there, and during this truth and sincerity, man. Looking forward to getting out of here. This place is Babylon. You had anything to say, Yak? Oh, I think the brother video might have froze. But it's all good. Hey, call all y'all by Shimiao Shai. Shalom.